Ahoy there. Hope my words find you in good health and that you're striving through this uh, troubling time with the COVID-19 pandemic that's impacting the world. A interesting leadership ethics dilemma is making its way through our headlines at present. The commanding officer of the USS Theodore Roosevelt, Brett Cozier, was relieved of his command after raising alarm over the virus and the infections on his ship through non-secure channels. Now, to understand why this is significant or important, or why someone would lose their job over, uh, you know, trying to help out their team, we have to put a lot of things in context. First off, an aircraft carrier is an enormous ship with a crew of three to five thousand people on board of highly trained specialists. So if someone gets sick and falls out or isn't able to perform their duties, you can't just pick up a phone and order in someone new. You have to, everyone around you has to work twice as hard. And this diminishes the capacity or the performance of this asset, of this aircraft carrier. Now, an aircraft carrier isn't just all by itself. It makes up a battle group of about a dozen other ships. So if the aircraft carrier isn't operating at full capacity, then the entire battle group is not operating at full capacity. The other important piece to put into context is the Theodore Roosevelt operates in the Pacific Theater. And in fact, if you read the news reports, they pulled into Guam recently to offload and evacuate the sailors. And if you do a Google Maps search of Guam and where it sits in the Pacific Ocean, it's about 1,700 miles away from Taiwan. Now, why is this significant? Well, the United States and China have been in loggerheads over the island of Taiwan for over half a century now. And it dates back all the way to when China became a communist country. Now, to understand the way the average Chinese citizen thinks about Taiwan and Taiwan being a sovereign country, we have to, I have to give you kind of a, a metaphor or an analogy to put this into context. <clears throat> it's the same affront or slight to the average Chinese as it would be to an American if the state of Florida was annexed by Cuba and the entire state of Florida operated as an independent communist country on the border of the United States. This is how the, the Chinese, how you would equate how the Chinese view the island of Taiwan. So it's kind of a big deal. And so the ethical dilemma comes in this. On one hand, we have the commanding officer who is worried and concerned about the health and well-being of his crew. And on the other hand, we have the admiral's mind. And the admiral's mind is looking at the global strategy, the global domination game and where all of the pieces are on the board. And obviously there's something of concern or there's a reason for the Theodore Roosevelt to be operating in that part of the Pacific Ocean. You see, the island of Taiwan is kept sovereign by the projection of American military might and American military presence. So if China decided to go drop off, you know, a million soldiers onto Taiwan, it would be the battle group that would prevent that. It would be the battle group that would respond to that, that entire asset. And so China now knows, or our opponents now know, that this significantly powerful asset is operating in a diminished capacity. So it's the same as playing poker, and maybe one of our cards is facing our opponent. And the dilemma comes in this. Do you take the position of the commanding officer and you say, I have to do anything to protect my crew and the health and well-being of my crew? Do you make that decision to raise the alarm under any circumstance to protect your people? Or do you take the mind of the admiral and say, 
there's a bigger game, there's a bigger mission here. Uh, there's global strategy games that are going on and force projection games going on. What, what position do you take? And now we may not be admirals and captains ourselves, but this plays all the way down to even the lowest levels of any organization. Do you do what's right for your people or do you do what's right for the big picture, the global strategy picture? So just some kind of things to think about and observe. The difficult questions, the difficult problems and dilemmas that leaders are presented with in just everyday life. So I hope you have a wonderful day and I love you.